Helping you get the kids ready for back to school, and back to school means back to packing lunches. And it can be such a chore, but it doesn't have to be. We've got some easy tips tonight for some simple snacks that the kids are going to love. And a bonus, they're healthy as well. News 8's medical reporter Jocelyn Mementa shows us. From breakfast to snacks, there are all kinds of healthy and tasty choices for kids heading back to school. Running late and rushing out. But if it has to be just one thing, I would say have something that's a source of energy from carbohydrates. So for instance, grabbing a banana for the road or grabbing an apple. Registered dietitian Ellen Liskoff at Yale New Haven Hospital says ideally, plan ahead of time. Your student gets a more balanced jump start to the day. It's important for learning, concentration, and it's even been linked to better grades and overall nutritional status. She recommends serving up as many of the food groups, carbs, whole foods and grains, veggies, lean protein and dairy, pairing up at least two of them. This one teams up whole grains and dairy. Cheerios is a lower sugar cereal, also made with whole grains because it's made with oats. So we're hitting the complex carbohydrates, lots of B vitamins, and a great source of energy. The 1% low fat milk offers calcium, vitamin D, and protein. More options include so we have oats, which is a grain product, we have fruit which again, eating half of our meals of fruits and vegetables is a great idea. We have dairy and the dairy is low in fat content. And then to add a little protein, I have some nuts on in here. Healthy snack alternatives, especially for your student athlete. So having a whole grain bagel is a great source. Um, having maybe something like cream cheese on top of it, a little bit of fat for staying power, and then pairing that with a fruit. Try not to shun foods. Moderation is key. Single-serve oven-baked chips can curb cravings. A lot of studies show that that's a great way to um, have a treat but not go overboard with it. Yogurt can satisfy that sweet tooth. Greek yogurts tend to have less sugar as compared to non-Greek yogurts. If you did a plain yogurt, put your own fruit in there and one, used one level teaspoon of sugar, that would actually have less sugar content than the pre-flavored yogurts. Most importantly, get your child involved. Again, trying to encourage them to hit at least two food groups. So kids might make unusual pairings that aren't appealing to you or I, but you know, again, it has to be their taste buds. Jocelyn Mementa, News 8.